First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakudash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Yahweh, in the name of the Heavenly Father, Bahashem, meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of Yahweh's only begotten Son and our Lord and Savior, also who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashem Rakakudash, meaning in the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalawan to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and Shalawan to you speckled birds and you Israelite foreigners that scatter out in the other nations that look like the other nations but are in fact Israelites. And as you see from the title of this lesson, this lesson is going to be going into uh you know immortality you know being changed into uh those natural bodies that's so like changing to those immortal bodies that was promised to be given to us at the appearance of our lord and savior yahweh shot all right and you know what really prompted me to make this lesson you know is because you know uh earlier i was meditating and just thinking like you know people don't realize you know uh what we will soon be you know because the world right now typically looks at us as nothing but you know niggas you know uh you know so-called mexicans you know you know all the, the the typical names that was given to us you know the proverbs and the bow words that deuteronomy chapter 28 speaks of all right you know the world pretty much looks at us as shit you know the lowest of the low all right but eventually very soon you know the hopeful elect of israel you know uh, starting with 144,000 men you know the governing body of the world to come on down to the elect men women and children you know we're going to be changed into those immortal bodies to those glorified bodies you know that were that was that was promised to be given to us you know, uh, when your house shot cracks those skies, all right? You know? But see, right now, you know, the world, they don't see that happening, you know? But as long as we, you know, stay diligent in this word, continuing in the faith, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, you know, we're going to uh, bear the image, bear that heavenly image, all right? You know? We're going to be conformed to the image of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? You know? So, I'm making this lesson to, you know, pretty much, you know, exhort you brothers and you sisters, you know? You know, because, you know, uh, we won't be looked at as the lowest of the low much longer, all right? You know, these other nations, you know, uh, even with our people, you know, the, our people, the ones that look at us crazy, because of what we believe in, you know, they're going to be, they're going to hang their head in shame because of how they looked at us, you know, of how they doubted us, you know, treated us, you know, so on and so forth, you know, because they're going to see that glory in us in one day, very soon. All right. So, uh, you know, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to you, brothers and you sisters. And the first precept I want to start off with is Psalms chapter 82 <clears throat> and let's start at verse 6 all right and it says i have said ye are gods and all of you are the children of the most high verse 7 ye shall salaki but ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes all right so the focus is verse six all right let's read it again i have said ye are guys and all of you are children of yahweh all right so this is really pretty much mainly talking about the men all right you know according to the scriptures you know the so-called black hispanic and native american indian man you know we're considered guys in the eyesight of yahweh by shimia was shy with a lowercase g you know but you know right now we're gonna die like men you know because we're in this mortal flesh you know 
which is why verse 7 says, ye shall die like men and fall like one of the princes, all right? You know, we're in this mortal flesh, so we're going to continue to die, you know? And that's all because of uh, what happened between, you know, Adam and Eve, you know, because of what they did, you know? So now we have to suffer death. You know, we have to die now because initially it was meant for us to be immortal. And I'm going to bring that scripture out in a few, you know, that's in uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter two. All right. So uh, I want to expound on that a little bit more. Let's go to Romans chapter five. And let's read verse 12. All right. And it says, wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men for that all have sinned all right so it's pretty much talking about adam you know what happened in the garden of eden you know uh adam and eve you know eden of the so-called fruit you know so you know because of that now we all die you know let's expound on that a little bit more let's go to ecclesiastes chapter 25 And let's read verse 24 all right and it says of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die who is that her that's talking about eve all right so like i said because of what adam and eve did we now all die but like i said b uh, before you know initially you know we was, we was meant to be immortal you know not to ever die all right and let's get there right quick let's go to wisdom of solomon chapter 2 and uh verse 23 all right and it says for yahweh by shimei was shot created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity all right so like i said you know we was initially meant to live forever you know never die but because of what adam and eve did you know now we have to suffer the consequences of death you know but eventually, you know, that that, uh, you know, that curse of death, you know, death, uh, us dying and whatnot, you know, that's going to be lifted up off of us very soon. You know, as long as we stay diligent in his word and don't fall out. All right. That's going to we're going to be immortal. We're going to be confirmed, conformed to the image of you. How about Shimei was shot? All right. So uh, from here, let's go ahead and jump to first John chapter three. And let's start at verse verse one all right and it says behold what manner of love the father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of yahweh therefore the world knoweth us not because it knoweth him not all right you know so like i said the world don't know us you know they don't know who we really are you know the world looks down on us you know because ultimately they don't they don't know yahweh bashim yahweh all right verse 2 beloved now are we the sons of yahweh and it doth not yet appear what we shall be which is why i named the the this lesson it doth not yet appear what we shall be all right let's continue but we know that when he shall appear we shall be like him for we shall see him as he is all right and when yahweh shall returns he's going to be in his glory you know his glorified bodies all right when he was on earth he was in that the the mortal flesh you know but when he returns he's going to be in uh that that uh the glorified body all right immortal you know so if it says we should be like him when he, he appears what does that tell you all right we're not going to die we're going to be immortal because yahweh shot he's not dying all right he's not dying so therefore that tells us what type of people we're going to be you know we're going to go back to how it was originally meant for us to be immortal. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and expound more on that. Let's go to first Corinthians chapter 15. And let's start at verse 49. All right. 
and it says and as we have borne the image of the earthy we shall also bear the image of the heavenly all right you know the image of the heavenly that's talking about those incorruptible bodies all right those uh mortal bodies all right let's continue now this i say brethren that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of yahweh by shimyal shai neither doth corruption inherit incorruption verse 51 behold i show you a mystery now this is a mystery because you know majority of the world they don't know this you know the majority of the world don't know that eventually we're going to be immortal all right we shall not all sleep but we shall all be changed all right changed into what verse 52 in a moment in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed all right you know we like it said we shall be raised up incorruptible you know the dead all right meaning we're gonna have that uh you know those more uh, immortal bodies you know let's continue verse 53 for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality all right you know we're gonna be immortal never dying you know no sickness all right you know you have a lot of brothers and sisters that's out here sick got different ailments you know not all that stuff is gonna go away you know we're gonna be perfect all right let's continue verse 54 so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written death is swallowed up in victory all right so like i said there's going to be no more death you know all that stuff is going to be gone sickness illnesses we're going to be perfect incorruptible all right just like yahweh shai is that's what it meant when we when it says we shall be like him when he appears all right because he's not getting sick he's not dying all right he defeated death you know, when he came to fulfill the will of Yahweh, by Shem, of, of Yahweh, all right? You know, he defeated death. You know, now he has his glory. So all we have to do is continue to walk in his faith, endure all the trials and tribulations that we go through in life. You know, and the main trials and tribulations that we're going to have to go through is Jacob's trouble. All right, that's that big hump before we be able to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, and receive those uh, immortal bodies, all right? So, uh, I'm going to get a few more precepts. Like I said, you know, uh, this lesson was just pretty much an exhortation. You know, it wasn't going to be that long. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead and get Colossians chapter 3. <clears throat> All right. And let's start at, um, let's start at verse 1. And it says, if ye then be risen with Yahweh Shai, so like if the if ye then be risen with the Hamashiach, seek those things which are above, where where the Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of Yahweh. Alright? So we're supposed to be seeking the things that's above, you know, not the things on this earth. You know, because everything on this earth is gonna pass away. You know, it's vanity, you know. You know, while the whole the rest of the world, you know, all the are people that's not in this truth you know they're seeking after chasing the bag getting a career you know you have these uh the a lot of these niggas out here chasing women you know so on and so forth stuff that don't even matter man we at the brink of world war three you got niggas and uh these women out here caring about the stuff that don't even matter you know they're gonna perish right along with it but um uh, verse two set your affection on things above not on things on the earth all right like i said set our affection on the things above not the things here on this earth because everything on this earth is, is corruptible all right you know it could be one here one minute and go on the next all right verse three for ye are dead and your life is hid with with hamashiach and yahweh <clears throat> all right verse four is the point when when the hamashiach who is our life shall appear then shall ye also appear with him in glory all right so that, that lets you know we're going to be just like him all right immortal you know he defeated death all right he came to fulfill the will of yahweh all right now 
we are put back on this earth to do the same thing you know mainly speaking to us brothers and this truth you know we're here to fulfill the will of yahweh by shimmy all right and if we do that guess what we're gonna be conformed to the image of yahweh by shimmy all shy joint heirs all right matter of fact let me go ahead and get that right quick then i'm gonna close this lesson out Verse. Let's start at verse 16, all right? And it says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh. All right, verse 17. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with the Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together with, so like we're glorified together, all right? So, you know, that goes back to what I said, you know, uh, you know, we was put on the earth, you know, uh, to pretty much do the will of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? You know, just like Yahweh Shai was put on the earth to uh, fulfill Yahweh's will, you know, to suffer, all right? So we got to do the same thing. And if we do that, guess what? We're going to be glorified together with him, joint heirs, all right? Verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time or not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right, let's continue. Verse 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. all right? So all the creatures are pretty much waiting for the manifestation of the sons of Yahweh. of Yahweh. all right? Verse 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who hath subjected the same in hope. Verse 21. Because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption. All right. And what's the bondage of corruption? These bodies that we in, man. We got to be changed into the glorious liberty of the children of Yahweh. Verse 22. Verse, uh, Salaki. Yeah, I think that was it for that. But you get the point, you know. You know, if we you know, endure everything that, you know, we go through here on this earth, you know, the same way Yahweh I did, you know, we're going to be glorified together with him, you know, which is why we're going to be changed and we should, we're going to be like him when he returns. All right. You know, glorified bodies, you know, immortal, never dying, so on and so forth, you know, but that's all we got to do. We just got to endure through everything that we go through here on this earth, you know, mainly speaking about the times that we're coming into. You know, Jacob's trouble, the worst time, the hardest time in history. All right. And if we get over that hump, you know, guess what? We're going to receive those glorified bodies, those immortal bodies. All right. Joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, you know, mainly speaking to us brothers. You know, Lord willing, we're of that number. All right. So, uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to you, brothers and you sisters that scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. And as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rechakwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to you, brothers, that's out there pushing this truth and sincerity. Shalom.